My name is Magen Shenav. I'm a grower here in Kibbutz Dafna. We're located at the uh, north of the Hula Valley, right near the uh, Lebanon border, uh, beneath the Hermon Mountain, and um, around us, many rivers. We grow uh, especially avocados and uh, citrus. And this is you for us, this is carob, a plot of carob. Here we get about uh, 600 millimeters of rain during the uh, winter season. And we feel the uh, climate change. The dry season is from about uh, April till now, till November, December. Yeah, it's pretty uh, rough. We irrigate from Dan River, the only water supply. The water quality is excellent. We don't have a lot of advantage here to, to grow what we grow because in the winter it can get very cold and in the summer it can get very hot and there's a lot of wind. So it's very complicated and very challenging. The carob idea, we got it because of the climate, because of the uh, lack of uh, water and the dry season. It's uh, naturally Israeli born, the carob. It doesn't need much water. It doesn't need much fertilization. We thought about the uh, Ginnagau mulch idea as a weed control and to keep the soil moist and uh, to use less water. The plot is uh, around 100 dunam, more or less like uh, 10 hectares. To put the mulch sheets exactly where we wanted, we used the mulch layer machine. Colleagues that uh, didn't use the uh, Genigar mulch sheets have a lot of weeds and uh, a very high percentage of waste. And by now everybody look for us and they see that the result is excellent. The work with the mulch was a very easy one because the Guinea provides provide us uh, sheets with holes in it, uh, exactly where we wanted to put it, three and a half meters from one hole to the other. So we didn't have to uh, mark where we, we need to uh, dig the hole and plant the, uh, the carb plants. We only been here in this plot only twice since it was planted back in August. The first visit was to um, pull all the weeds that grew in the small holes, one and a half day of work. The other visit was to uh, put inside the uh, poles to give stability for the uh, cow plants. And uh, that's it, we're looking to do 100 more. Same method, same success.